this episode of Retro Gaming Night, we play Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Casually Hardcore, this is Neil, welcome to another retro game night. We're playing Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, which is a mouthful of a game title, so I'm just going to call it Puzzle Fighter from now on. So the Puzzle Fighter game is a bit like Tetris, it's a sort of a down-dropping puzzle game, but it uses gems, and the gems will collect together, and you have to pick strategic times to smash them all, to then drop the gems onto the opponent's block. The game itself features various Capcom classics, uh, from fighting games, we've got Ryu, Chun Li, Sakura, Ken, Felicia, Donovan, her, and Morrigan from obviously the Dark Stalkers and Street Fighter games. I'm going to pick Morrigan. Now, what you would have seen before then uh, is a little counter block. So there's Ryu's green, red, blue, yellow in various rows. What that means is when those blocks are destroyed for him, they will drop down on me in that order. So I should, if I want to be successful, build my blocks in exactly the same way he counters them. Disadvantage to this, of course, is that I'm building to accommodate his success. So, if I want to do my own thing, I'll do it quickly, it might be a little bit better for you. They're great little games, very easy to pick up, very fun to play. Um, nice sort of element of risk and reward. You know, the longer you build up blocks, as you can see I'm building up in there, changing to larger version themselves. The longer they build up, then the more successful you may be. Um, and obviously there's a nice risk and reward to that. What I really like about the game is whenever you smash in blocks, you eventually see the big moves of the characters in the different fighting games. So if Ryu unleashes a big attack at some point, he's gonna send a fireball my way, obviously he would in the games themselves. So it's a, it's a great little game. Uh, it's available on the PlayStation 3 network. So obviously if you've got a PlayStation 3, go download it, go and play it there. Fun little game, very competitive, nice little co-op. Um, local couch game as well and obviously it's a battle game it's quite easy on the certain difficult levels Ryu isn't really reacting to me now playing over like two levels the computer are going to step up and they're going to be really really on the ball so I'm going to knock off Ryu quite quickly here um, now as you can see from his rather filled up screen and the move I just produced there there are numbers all over the block he cannot break those blocks with the circular gems which as you can see are what are required to break the block. So this blue block on its own won't do anything. Put it there, won't do anything. If I drop a block onto the circular ones, it'll break. All the gem I've got here means I can pick a color of my choice, green, everything green is destroyed. So with those blocks that obviously are in the way they're destroyed, um, he can't touch them with those numbers there. He has to wait for them to turn into blocks, then he can destroy them. Again, it's a game where you can go from victory to success quite quickly, all of a sudden, I'm now filled with blocks everywhere. I've got to deal with these. I've got to build to accommodate them. The only way you can smash these blocks is by instantly breaking something on top of them. That will clear out a few blocks here. Um, very possible I'm going to lose here because I'm talking. So I'll try and win this fight quickly. But obviously what I can do is with, with knowing what these blocks are going to turn into, I can kind of set him up for some giant attacks. So if I leave this red one here, one turn. Nice little combo of moves. Uh oh, big move coming from Ryu. And am I going to finish him up here? It looks like it. Come on. There we go. So that's that's uh, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Nice and simple. Very simple to watch and see how, how the game plays. It's a very fast paced, but surprisingly strategic puzzle game. Put the gems down, build up, build up, build up. Don't take too long to build up because if all of a sudden. They have dropped. They have. Uh, they have blocks dropped on you. You're going to be in trouble quickly. So we'll play another game here. See if I can knock off Husenko, however that's pronounced. I apologise if that's incorrect, which it probably is. Someone will probably tell me it is. So you playing with a lot more faster pace than Ryu was. Let me do my best to make that as quickly as possible. Now, if you if you drop blocks quickly and smash. Down. And smash drops, uh, smash blocks quickly, which I'm doing now. You're going to constantly harass her, but at the same time, you're going to give them a lot more time to set up with these blocks. Now, obviously, again, this is a perfect example of showing that strategic: do you or don't you build up, or do you just break them as quickly as you possibly can? So, 
this has been Casually Hardcore, kind of a retro game. Uh, Puzzle Fighter is a great fun little game. Fun playing against the computer, but a lot of fun playing against friends. Trying to take each other out, and it's got a lot of famous fighting characters in the game. Uh, Akuma and Dan make an appearance as well from the Street Out from the Street Fighter franchises. Let's take them out. But I definitely recommend playing it. It's a little bit different than Tetris, than Bejeweled, and Andy Crush, and obviously games like those. A little bit more competitive as well. So definitely check it out. And obviously, hopefully, you can do a little bit better than I am right now. Thanks very much. Did you enjoy that video? Then hit that like button. Why not subscribe as well and get the latest videos, news and competitions? Don't forget to check out casuallyhardcore.com where you can buy hundreds of video game shirts and geek clothing or make your own shirts with worldwide shipping also available. Until next time, stay casually hardcore.